Hi, this is David Armstrong with another edition of our Musical Theatre Factory vlog. And today our guest star here <laughs> is uh, one of the stars of our production of Oklahoma, the one and only Ann Allgood. Hi. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Good, very good. I should say, I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you find yourself uh, speaking that way out off the stage? I don't really, but I learned to talk in the South and my family's all Southern, so it comes back in a heartbeat. Really fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's scary. Yeah, and you had a British accent the last time we saw you on a stage prior well, to yes, this. Well, yes, I did. And then I, <laughs> and then, you know, when I did Candide, I had that undefined Whatever that was. <laughs> Whatever that was, accent. <laughs> so it's fun. Exactly. <laughs> So you're the Meryl Streep of Seattle. <laughs> well, maybe of accents. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things I'm always interested in is what people sort of ritual that they fall into throughout a performance, mm. where what moments you look forward to on stage and what moments you look forward to off stage. The things that you pass people on the wings or certain things you always watch from the wings oh, yeah. or those kinds of stuff. Do you have any, anything oh, to share so, with us there's about Oh, there's so that? many. There's yeah. like too many to, to count. I do love the moments before the play starts and we're in the wings and listening to the overture because there's a lot of silly dancing that goes on back there <laughs> just to kind of, you know, get us going. We twirl around and we sing to each other and, and stagehands and actors alike. We have a, we have a little mini party. I right think there. that is one of the secrets of musical <laughs> theater that people don't realize. And it happens everywhere. It happens on oh, Broadway. Yeah. Happens every, and in a show where the curtain's down, it often happens like right, right behind the stage. curtain, right on yeah. stage behind the curtain. Yeah. People have elaborate numbers that they've worked out <laughs> to the overture. Well, ours is more free form. I don't think we've necessarily set anything. Codified, you know, but not, maybe yeah. you've got a couple weeks left yeah, to it's, fall it's into a, a pattern. It's a morphing, steadily <laughs> breathing, growing thing. Yeah. Okay, so we have the overture. So we know yeah. you're back there getting excited during that. So that, yeah. what are other any other well, moments that stand out? What I love about this musical as opposed to a great many other ones is that it starts so quietly mm -hmm. it starts with a sunrise and some little birds and just me and Carly on stage and I'm doing my little work and he's and so it's really kind of easy and conversational Eric is a dream to be on stage with it just feels completely utterly real every moment so why is he a dream partly what you just said because yeah he's it's just so... present he's just completely present and real and it's just like hey how you doing you know and the curtain comes up and we just keep talking you know it's that it's that easy and I it's easy to take for granted but I have to remember what a luxury that is and just revel in it even more you know um I also and, and love, most of your scenes are with him, or a lot of your Yeah, a great many him. of them are. Yeah. And I also love that, um, especially interesting to me, because this was an early musical, that the first time somebody sings, then I say, you know, why are you here? And he goes, well, I'm singing to you. So he says, I'm singing a song. We don't live in some strange, bizarre universe where people sing their feelings. He's yeah. actually singing. Right. You right. know, and then the first time Will Parker dances in Kansas City, he goes, look at this dance I learned. Right. right, right. I love that. Right. I think that is so interesting. About and in a way, play. it gives permission then for dancing and song to pervade the whole show. Yeah, yeah. So like in the wedding, when Curly starts singing Oklahoma, I'm like, oh, he's singing again. You know, <laughs> he's like, my Curly, the singing cowboy, you know. <laughs> So it's great. It is fine. I thought about that the other way watching the show. Is he is a singing cowboy, which oh, is sort yeah. of an archetype, but yeah. I never thought of him in the in that in that world before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And in I think are we? Oh. We're still good. Okay. And I think in in Green Grove, the Lilacs, it's full of songs. And right. It was filled with music. In. The yeah. play that Oklahoma was based on. Yeah. Uh, we had all kinds. In fact, the title "Green Grow the Lilacs" is a folk song, a famous yeah. folk song. Yeah. That was in the was in that show. So yeah, I love that they. I mean, that feels really American to me. That they just said we're going to take this this tradition that we have of singing and making music and just and not try to make that an artificial strange thing. It's just part of who we are. You know. So let's keep going through the show. Any other okay. moments that anything you particularly stand in the wings and watch every night, or that you like to to be uh, be aware of other than the overture? Well, the Dream Ballet is spectacular. I mean, I should tell you that almost the whole entire cast watches that every night. And you and almost as interesting and fascinating to me, because I can't always get down there and see everything that's going on on stage, but I can look down the wing and, and see everyone going, <gasps> right, and see everybody with their faces all side lit, just staring in awe at these incredible dancers. You know, I so that's really, it's kind of this ritual that we all, um, most always are there watching that. And, and that, to me, talks, speaks to the support we give each other as well. You know, this is a huge company. It's a giant company. And it's a company, you know, people from opera, people from ballet, people from all different areas of, of storytelling and kinds of storytelling. And we, some of us have nothing in common except the show, right? But we've all really become close. And, and it's a really generous bunch of people. So that does my heart good to see every night, too.
So what do you think it is about Aunt Eller that is... Uh, She's the soul of the show in many ways, and and is a and you may not read reviews, uh, but uh, in almost every review that the show has gotten, uh, you and the character have been talked about as being just so warm and accessible, mm. and 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 uh, you know really at the at the glue that holds the whole show together. Yeah. What? How have you tapped into that? Tell us about just your approach to Anne mm. Eller and what made what makes her tick. Well, it's interesting because she has very she has very little backstory in Green Grow the Lilacs, and she has none in Oklahoma. Yeah, we don't know anything like, about how she got to Oklahoma. Yeah, what she's her... like one of the richest people there, and she runs her own farm, and she's a single woman, and how, what? And Where we don't she... know, I mean, what happened to Lori's parents? Right, we don't, well, Those right. details are not filled in in this not script at all. at all. Not at all. We did some talking about that, uh, Alex and I, um, because we read uh, parts of Green Grow the Lilacs that inform that. Some of that is in there. That yeah, There's more yeah. information about that. Yeah, and... Uh, I don't know. I feel like that Aunt Eller is, so much of it is in the text. I always go back to the text. I mean, everyone in town calls me Aunt Eller or Aunt Eller, right. which is, it's like my mom, when I was growing up, she was the kind of mom that all my friends called her mom too, you know? Right. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's that kind of, she's just that kind of matriarchal presence. And so much of that is just given to me in, in the wording and in the, in the way the story unfolds. And I think too, that my, my main objective in the play is to get Laurie and Curly together. And I think the audience's main objective is to get Laurie and Curly together, too, right? right? So we're on the same side. You know, I, I'm, I'm on their team. We, we're really rooting for that to happen. That's probably true. That's a great sense of identification yeah. between the audience yeah. and, and Aunt Eller. Yeah, and also Aunt Eller gets to be funny. She gets to flirt. She gets to dance. She gets, she gets to, to do... be smarter than everybody else, right. wiser than everybody else. <laughs> right. She gets. She's yeah. not just an old crone. You know, she gets to say and do kind of surprising things. And I think that I think audiences love that too. So uh, some people have been surprised to see you tap dancing up there. <laughs> well, I don't have microphones on my shoes. All the real dancers do. So I always say I'm a, I'm a really good actor and I can act like a tap dancer. <laughs> I can, you know, make it seem like I know what I'm doing. But She's a little bit better than that, but we'll let her get away with it. There's, there's a little fakery going on. Uh, you know, I, I, I have tapped a little bit, but and I don't really make all the clean sounds, but... It was a fun challenge, and I remember one time at the uh, because we do these uh, wings, whatever. If you know what that step is at the end of the dance, and Donald Burr, the choreographer, said, "Aunt Eller." He calls me Aunt Eller as much as he calls me Aunt. He said, "Do you do? Uh, can you do wings?" And I said, "No, I can eat wings." <laughs> That's about as close as you'll get. So I just pretend to do wings, you know, for about a nanosecond, and it works. I think. <laughs> you do. You, it's her tapping is much better than she's letting on, but. Uh, that comes from, you know, years of training you had to, oh, yeah. you, how many, how, whether you were, thought you were brilliant at it or not, how many years did you spend in tap class? Oh, a couple, yeah, you know, and exactly. I also kind of learned it, learned it going. Yeah, having probably, you had to do it in shows. Yeah, I, I did it probably two or three years, but you know, it goes all the way back to when I was a teenager in theme parks. Yeah. You know, there's so many things that I still think, wow, I'm so glad I worked at Six Flags when I was 16 years old. <laughs> Because I'm still using that skill, those skills. Well, it just goes to show we tell the young people all the time, and these things are going to come in handy sometimes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Somebody's going to ask you to do something, and you're going to be going, well, I actually can yeah, kind of do that. I can do it. Yeah. yeah. Who knew? <laughs> well, thank you. Tell us, what, before we go, yeah. why should people come see this production? Oh, my gosh. Oklahoma? What's not to love? What's not to love? You've got ridiculous comedy. You've got breathtaking dancing. You've got gorgeous people. You've got rope. some of the best music for musical theater ever written. I mean, that's the other thing. We all sit backstage and sing and sing along. You know, my husband today was singing People Will Say We're In Love, and he, he said, I wish I could hear that song for about a year. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, I know. You don't like to hear show music all the time when you're at home. And I said, this show music I, I could hear about 24-7, you know. It's gorgeous. A 22-piece orchestra <gasps> with strings. I mean, oh, it's just lush and beautiful. And also, just to see, thank you for this, a stage filled with people. I mean, we're, it's crowded, even. We have so many people up there. It's just right. spectacular. So so come. You'll have a great time. Okay. Well, she said it better than <laughs> I could say it. Come see Oklahoma. Yeah. Come see the amazing Ann Allgood. Sure. And uh, come see us uh, next time on another vlog. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, if you come see it, I'll wave to you from the stage. <laughs> That's a promise. She'll go like this. <laughs>